Okay, guys, so I wanted to do another makeup look. I already have um, my skin done, and now I'm just going to go ahead and start. So I'm going to lay down painterly. I'm going to be using one of those 120 palette color. Well, I'm going to use colors from the 120 palette. Okay. So I didn't nail down exactly what colors I wanted to um, use. I really couldn't figure out which ones I wanted. I just wanted to show you the palette. I bought this a long time ago. Um, I broke one here and that was really it. Alright, let's just see what happens. I do know that I want to do some kind of like bluey color. Okay. For this palette, I really like to pat the colors on. I did start with painterly. I like the color I picked. <laughs> After it took so long, I better love it. Um, sorry, that first brush was a Sigma E55 brush. Really flat um, eye shading brush, it's called. Next. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the Dillium tools in a yellowy uh, white color. I'm gonna go in the inner corner with that. I'm gonna do a dark purple. I'm gonna use a, two set, a 219 brush from that. And this is gonna go in the crease. Unicron. Unicron. I do not believe I touch. I swear. Primary matte color. I'm gonna go up here. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that primary color underneath here. Then I'm going to take Smolder Pencil with, this is something I used to do ages ago, um, Smolder Pencil, I'm going to have to find the crease with that and then put, um, I'll put a black eyeshadow down on top of that, okay? Under normal circumstances, I would have used, um, black track blue line but I can't find it right now so two nineteen that brush I first started using was the Sigma brush. This is a little softer than the two nineteen so it doesn't give me a lot of um as much control as I really wanted so I switched to the two nineteen. Well I'm there I'm just gonna take some other across the lash line. Not as liner, kind of just as a, a smudgy base for um, for mascara. This little brush is the Dillium um, 755 brush. It's a really, you know, precise smudgy brush. Continuing to add a corner mochify this look. I'm going to bring it up into that plummy color just a little bit and fade out. Make sure it's all blended. I'm going to touch up again with the blue. Just because for some reason I really don't like when eyeshadow cuts the eye in half here. I, really I like the smokiness to be on the outer corner, and when I see um, really dark in the center, it just, to me, makes the eye look cut in half. 
and I can only concentrate on like the lighter half so or, or the darker half it just seems like see how this is brought over a little bit too far I like to adjust that by adding the color back so it's basically just on that outer corner that's me that's a preference thing it's not a you know this is how smoky eyes must be it's just I don't like it anywhere that close to the center of the eye I like it more towards the outside okay so I'm going to use a 217 brush into Samoan silk which is a matte color it's like a peachy color and for my skin tone this is a great highlight I also like using it on um so this one I have, like I'm doing plums. Plums, I feel like this is a really nice one. And because I have a lot of shimmer going on on the lid and in the crease and in the corner, I just want something really matte. So I'm going to finish up and come back with uh, mascara and then I'll do the blush. So I want to do the blush for you really quick. I'm going to be using Love Crush. And this is a Delium Tools in 9, 964. And this is Love Crush. It's a deep purple. So I'm starting back towards the ear. And I like using a rounder brush for this. Not necessarily like an angled brush. Just because I want it pretty light and fluffy. The angle brush would just like contour it more. Make it all over the cheek because this is one of many blushes. And normally I do more than one blush anyway. Now for my highlight today I used Whisper of Guilt. This is the extra dimension skin finish. Love it! Ay ay ay. A little bit of ambering rose and trace gold. These two right here. I'm kind of at the beginning. So when I smile, you really have a highlight right there. And then I'm going to take a little bit of format just underneath. It's not really contouring, it's just kind of blending into brown. So it's not like plum and then my skin is a little bit of fade. Just a little bit. So I did the lips obviously already. I will share that with you guys, the info on the down bar. I hope you guys enjoy um, this really bold look using the um, BF Beauties palette that I got a while ago. And I will talk to you guys soon. I will have all the info in the down bar and some pictures in the blog. Bye!